Halfway between San Francisco to the north and Los Angeles to the south is the town of Paso Robles. It's exactly three hours, whichever way you want to get at it. So you can fly into San Francisco and come south through Big Sur, or you can fly in to LA and come up through Santa Barbara. Either way, you run up at a wonderful little wine town known as Paso Robles. Now they have a huge wine industry there. So uh, you have a lot of things that you get to see and to taste through, but without all the pomp and circumstance that maybe you get at Napa. So there's a lot to enjoy, a little more relaxed, a lot more laid back, nobody rushing you through, and uh, a lot of great wines that you can enjoy. And one of the longest standing wineries uh, in, in Paso Robles is Jaylor. And Jaylor uh, wanted to really put out something that represented what you get from Paso fruit. And so they put out what they call Pure Paso, which is largely Cabernet Sauvignon. It's over 75% Cabernet Sauvignon but it's also got about a quarter of it being Petit Syrah, which is a darker, richer, spicier wine that adds some real texture and, and, and complexity to the, to the wine itself. So from that, because Paso Robles is further south from Napa Valley, it's a little bit warmer climate, and so you get much riper fruit that comes out of it. So the, the wine itself is a little juicier, a little jammier, and uh, can really kind of give you a little much more of a, of a burst of fruit as you come out. And you get a lot of that um, deep dark fruit, a, a rich uh, cherry and, and, and blackberry and, and plum, and then some spicy notes that you're going to get out of that Petit Syrah that uh, really uh, create a, a wonderful flavor profile. And then it's a, like I said, very, a very rich finish and just enough tannin to help it to, to hang on at the, at the end. So whether you decide to fly in through uh, San Francisco or, or LA, wind up in the middle, come join us and enjoy Pure Paso from J. Lore. Enjoy.